What's up, everybody? So, it's my first weekend off and searching for some surf, which the Straits of Washington were kind of flat. Saw some cool peeling waves. Thing about it is we got to uh, drive a little bit. I've been 113 miles this morning with all the way to the tip of the straits. So yeah, going to Nia Bay, which is kind of up there on the tip of the straits, close to the ocean. See there's a little wave. It's, it does seem to be getting a little bit bigger of a swell head up but um anyhow so the first week living in the van well there's a kind of a lot to it you know um every night trying to find a place to sleep that's kind of the hardest place hardest thing rather to uh you know kind of be stealth but besides that up here anyhow the parks are awesome bathrooms are awesome kind of have to be mindful of where to park and where you're leaving your vehicle if you're going to go do something and work for me this week has been good um learning a new job which is all kind of cool at this little place a lot of rocks over here So the systems in the van seem to be working pretty good. A lot of thinking what I really need to have in here and what I don't need to have. Um, kind of getting back to the minimalistic frame of mind. Where you don't need a whole lot. Kind of your main daily focus for the van would be your clothing and your food for sure van is your shelter and what I've been doing is kind of honing down my activities um, I like to kite but the wind here to find a good place that's flat and open wind where I'm from in Texas isn't really conceivable that much at the moment so kind of unloaded that stuff um, electric guitar and amp which this time of year and this time right now just not really doable don't need to be carrying that around just to do things fine um, did find a couple of really cool places to stand up land paddle which was really cool so I'm gonna keep that system in the skateboard with land paddle even though I had to fix it some bolts fell out of it about keeping maybe a surfboard in here thinking maybe put the paddleboard in here so get room for a paddleboard and surfboard since it's still kind of summertime those are two definite definite activities I can do prior to work and basically daily now the weather's like this good exercise and fun and the wetsuit situation Drive out here is beautiful, but man, it's like you get speed and you gotta slow down and get these corners. It's definitely not like a uh, little sports car that's handling super top heavy on these corners. The locals like to just fly through these things in their little fuel efficient cars, <laughs> but that's all good. Um, temperature right now, check that out. It's like almost double that, not quite, but where I came from. And 
close though. So I'm gonna look for some surf today. See how it goes. Well this is the beginning of Nia Bay. Not sure really where to go. Looks like fog's rolling in and the wind's on it and it was glassy all the way up. Sweet! Well, I finally found a little bit of surf. This is Hope Up. All right, had a fun little surf. It was about knee high. Fog rolled in. Can't really see it too much. If you guys are wondering if a 10 foot longboard will fit in a 136 wheelbase, it will. No problem. All the way up to there. This is actually 10 2. And here's a little hack. If you guys are interested. Boom. So I use that to rinse off and rinse everything off. String up the wetsuit. And it just drips right down into this bucket. Yep. This is a long drive, curvy right on the coast, up and down. And hey, van life. But it's beautiful. These are the straights. The straight. Does a 10 foot surfboard fit in the 136 inch wheelbase? But a 10 foot paddleboard whopper that is three feet wide and four inches thick. Had to move a few things, but um, have a system for the wetsuits. This old used one that I ended up getting and then a dry one. So that one drips into this bucket right here on kind of the suspension deal. I had to move the bike up from this little place right here, but this is going to be the ladder so I can get up to the top rack and clean the panels and whatnot. But yeah, yep, systems coming along, trying a few different things, and uh, all right, here we go. Bleep.